Today's video is going to be a comparison review of a naturally mined diamond versus a lab created diamond from this company called Pure Ignis. So I'll just show you the two diamonds in the box and we'll see if we can tell the difference. And to be quite honest, they didn't let me know which diamond is which. I have to contact them to let you guys know which diamond is which. So I guess we are playing kind of on a fair scale and we'll see the quality and everything in their diamond. Open the box, they have a bit of their background here and there's also instruction of course on how to use the provided equipment and this is just a spec sheet of the actual diamond itself the carat weight, the color, hardness, and the carbon content as well and both diamonds are going to have the same chemical composition physical and optical properties so here we go to the actual diamonds themselves I'm going to do some close-up shots on the diamonds and also use the provided tools but here we have diamond A, we have diamond B. These are both 0 0.10 carats. So if you lift this portion up, you'll see all the tools that you can use to view the diamond. Here we have a long pair of tweezers. We also have one of these magnifying glasses that jeweler shops always have, which I think is a really cool thing to have been included. There's also one of these prongs, which kind of looks like a setting for a diamond ring, but it's not. It's actually to hold the diamond. So I'm just going to be reading from their paper. It says, for every sale that they make on their website, they pledge to provide enough solar energy to light a household in a remote village. So they are kind of advocating for a greater cause in their lab-created eco-friendly diamonds. And their whole mission statement is to produce a net zero carbon footprint. So here we are going to begin with diamond A as it's labeled on the back so let's just open this up these are loose diamonds so we will be careful as we open it up we don't want it to pop out it is stuck to the lid right here let's try to carefully pick it up with the tweezers so here we have a 0 0.10 carat diamond the color is VVS which is an H the hardness level is a level 10 on most scale of hardness and both stones are made of pure carbon atoms so like I said before this is stone A. Let's try to view it through the magnifying glass. I'll just demonstrate it. I'm not sure if it will pick up on camera <laughs> that process, but let's see. Here we go. Review a bit of the diamond. You can see the fire right there. It's really hard to see from the point of the viewing glass. You can see the scintillation right there of all the colors, and that is called fire. It kind of has a rainbow effect to it as I'm slightly moving the diamond around. There we go. Okay, so this was diamond A. Now here we are moving on to diamond B. So you can see labeled on the back so we just don't get these confused. Tweezers actually have a pretty good grip. It's my first time using them. Now this one's actually much easier because I'm getting the hang of it. There you go. There you can see the fire and the scintillation. Just trying to move it back up a bit. So the first step is you don't move this to focus on the diamond, you put it up right against your face and then you're going to move the tweezers of the diamond to get the best focus. 